A car of mass 850 kilograms is traveling at a steady speed of 40 meters per second against a resistive force of 1,800 newtons, as shown in figure. A. Calculate the kinetic energy of the car. Again, the first thing we do is to identify our givens. The 850 kilograms is the mass. 40 meters per second, this is speed V. Resistive force 1800 newtons this is considered as force F, but it's opposing the motion, not the driving force. Okay, let's see what he wants. He wants the kinetic energy. Actually, we have enough givens to calculate the kinetic energy, which is half mv square. We have m the mass, we have v the speed. So, kinetic energy equals half times. 850 times 40 power 2. So the kinetic energy will be 680,000 joules. Question B. Calculate the energy used in one second against the resistive force. This is a compound question. We cannot answer in only one step. And we must understand many things in the lecture of work, energy, and power. First, he wants the energy. But what energy? We don't have any rules of energy but for two things. Potential energy, mgh, and kinetic energy, half mv square. What is this kind of energy? Actually, I think you forgot something. That any kind of energy equals work. Work itself equals force times distance. In this question, he wants you to calculate the energy used in one second against resistive force. So, in other words, you can say that the work against resistive force. Work is force times distance. Here, the force is the resistive force opposing the car motion. In the question, it's 1,800 newtons. But here comes another problem. What is the distance? We have no distances in the question. Distance will be calculated in a separate step. We have speed equals distance over time. This means that distance equals speed times time. Your speed is 40 meters per second. This is a given. Also, you have another given. Time is one second. He says calculate the energy used in one second. One second is the time. This means that he's talking about 40 meters of the journey. In one second, this car travels 40 meters. So, going back again to our steps. Force times distance means 1,800 newtons times 40 meters. This means that this car does work, or in other words, consumes energy of 72,000 joules against resistance. You need to repeat this answer many times to understand how we got this answer. This is an important and a question for experts, so please repeat it again. Question C. What is the minimum power that the car engine has to deliver to the wheels? This is a direct question. Power equals work over time, or of course, energy over time, which is 72,000 joules divided by one second. So, the minimum power will be 72,000 watts. Question D. What form of energy is in the fuel used by the engine to drive the car? Just remember what you have studied. Fuel burns to produce energy. This means that the energy in the fuel is chemical energy. E. State why the energy in the fuel is converted at a greater rate than you have calculated in C. In C, we said that the power needed is 72,000 watts. But this is the minimum power. Why? Because the car needs more energy for many other things. The car moves, and this is not the only thing that the car does. Car has lighting, the car has air condition, car has fans and cooling systems, so it will produce more energy than you just calculated. 
the energy you calculated is just for motion. So we say that energy consumed within the car for other options.